What's up everybody? In today's Valheim video, I'm going to be showing you my entrance to the 100 wood and 5 stone building challenge by Splash of Pain. Obviously could use some more touching up, but I did manage to do it without using any roof tiles, and that was my own personal goal. You can check out the video describing the competition in the link below. I mean, if you look at the people who often win Valheim competitions, they're architects. Like really, they're such good designers, and it's rather intimidating. But this challenge is totally doable, and it's something really fun that anybody can participate in. You can just make your building and then share it in Discord, which you can join by checking out the video. There's a channel called Challenges, and here is where people submit their entrance. So that got me thinking. Well, I've seen these dolmen things in the meadows before, and if you look at the rules, you're not allowed to dig or use any kind of terrain stuff. It really is just 100 wood and 5 stone. But the thing is, you have to have a workbench, a bed, and a campfire, and a chest, which means that the actual limitation is 70 wood. Additionally, the fireplace needs to be able to survive during the thunderstorms, not just the rainstorms. And you must be able to use the bed and sleep in it and craft tools on the workbench. So that's what got me thinking about those little dolmen things or the tombs that you find. I'll find one eventually. I swear, I always ignore it. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Haha. <laughs> I always ignored these things, but now I finally want to use one. So one of the rules is that you have to use pre ether tools. This means you can only use the hoe, the stone axe, and the hammer. I'm gonna clear out this area. And I could use the trees for structure or something, but I kinda like the idea of making this a little clearing in the meadows with the house in it. And that means down with the trees. Well, I made a little clearing, but I don't, the lighting's not good enough, so I'm gonna go cut the trees that are blocking up the sun. Oh, God. I should have seen that coming. Shit. See, there we go. It's starting to get better. I gotta repair my stone axe, right? And last time, I was able to sort of clip the workbench in some weird angle and it allowed me yeah there we go you can actually use these to build right so this is what gave me the idea to use this in the competition now we're just taking care of the last tree there we go that's the kind of look i'm going for now we can get started building what you bastard but first we have to get rid of some extra stuff so you're limited to five stone and a hundred wood but I already built the workbench, so I need to get rid of 10 wood. And now I need to get five stone. All right, so now we should be good to go. We have our 100 wood with the workbench and our five stone. Now, I'm gonna remove the workbench and just move it to the side so I can build, because I know you can use it there, but I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it in the build yet. So I'll just build it off to the side to here for now. And when, when I was practicing this earlier, I first made the fire here, because I thought, well, that's cool, I know that'll survive in the rain, but then it smokes up the whole place, and it's not really usable as a base. So I figured, instead of that, I can basically clip the fire here, saving valuable real estate. This frees up this whole area to be the center of my little house. And feng shui and stuff. Centers need to be clear. I'd like to have a theme where I sort of focus on the fire and make it uh, a main attraction, so to speak. So I'm gonna waste a bunch of wood trimming this up. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. But I'm so used to seeing squares in Valheim that I, I just love it when there's any kind of octagons or anything even remotely circular. Now I'm gonna make a little framework for the upper level. And now I've got this cool little thing up there and I need to sort of stop the smoke from going inside. So I'm gonna sort of fortify. Then we'll do it one more time over here. I think this is gonna be enough. Yeah, I see, we actually have a new problem. Because even though there's a hole here, it's not big enough for the smoke to go in, so it's as if it's a roof. So I'm gonna try and sort of expand this and keep the pattern, but then get rid of that ring. There we go, now the smoke can go up through the center, but we're gonna have some problems in the rain. So I'll use a trick that usually works with roofs. You can use these angled beams, and the beams will actually keep the rain out if you angle them right. It looks like I may have missed here. I have a feeling. Let's test it. All right, so the rainstorm, the thunderstorm starting and the campfire went out. So I have to move these around until the campfire turns back on. I have a feeling if I put them at this angle, it will work. 
Oh, actually, you know what? I bet it's not even that. It's probably this area that's making it go out. Let's do a little test. What happens if I put up? Oh, yep. And then if I remove this, boom. Okay. What if I just trim this up? Is that going to be enough? Sometimes that works. <laughs> it works. That's awesome. Woo! I somehow have... <laughs> you see, using this dolman is awesome because I, it actually gives you enough wood to use trim and do that kind of thing because you don't have to waste it all on roofs. If you haven't noticed, my whole goal with this challenge is to make this hut without ever having to use any of these roof pieces. This looks solid though. I don't really like the aesthetics of the top, so I'm gonna redo it a little bit. And see, if I get rid of it totally, then the fire does go out. So what I did here is I just placed one because I think that looks a bit better, but it's still a bit sort of, mm, something's missing. Haha, <laughs> there we go, that looks a bit better. I like it more that way. All right. Ah, but I don't really have 58 pieces left because the build has to include a chest and also a bed. So in reality, I just have 40 pieces left. Well, I mean, realistically, you would never have a bare fire like this, would you? It's not really functioning. Obviously, you would need cooking a cooking station. So I'll put this in because I seem to have some wood to spare. That looks pretty cool. And I don't really like this exposed wood here, so I'm going to trim it up and maybe I'll regret wasting this. We'll see. I can always remove the trim if I need the wood. Nice. There we go. That looks a bit more solid. Okay, and my, my general idea is sort of I go in... And then there's like a room right here. I guess the workbench is like right here, probably. Let's move the workbench. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is the magic spot. You have to look for the spot that has this sort of overhang and you can sort of clip the workbench into the wall a little bit and then it just works without a roof. Now, I think I'll use the rest of my stuff to make like some walls, but I have 35 wood. So I'm gonna practice making a little wall piece here and see what kind of design I wanna use. Here we just have like a basic square, right? And this will take up eight wood, which is obviously a lot more than just using a regular wool. But I like to do these sort of designs like this, right? So you could go, let's see, you could go like this and then maybe <laughs> trim it up even more. Go like this. I don't know. I just think that kind of thing looks really cool. The problem though is each unit, I mean, that's 12 wood, right? But let's see, actually, maybe I want to move this workbench. I don't like how cramped that is though. And here, I wanted to look at the practice one I made earlier. You can see it's pretty similar. I'm just trying to remember where did I put the workbench? Oh, I literally just put it outside. The that explains how I made all the wood, okay. This used way too much wood in this little thing, but you can see that's what I'm going for. I just like that design of being able to see through. And the workbench works. But again, this is just my rough draft. I just needed to look at it for a moment to remember what I did. And I see that I, I didn't even put the workbench inside. I only put a little room for a bed and then a chest. Ah, that's right. So I'll try and recreate that. All right, now we're back on the final world and I can get rid of this. And it looks like in the other thing, what I did is I basically placed the bed and then made a room out of it. So let's place our workbench. It was prob I'll put it off to the side a little bit because I'll probably clip it into the wall after I, after I build it. So I should be able to just place the bed, maybe like right, let's try and clip it in because that usually is good. We're gonna go like right here. And obviously right now it's too exposed. All right, now we have a little bit of our structure going. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, so normally you can't, you have to use a roof tile, right? But it looks like because enough of this is there, adding these enabled me to set the spawn spot. <laughs> That's crazy. I might actually get away with not having any roofs. All right, we're working with 13 wood. I already built the chest, right? Yeah, okay, thank God. Now we're gonna add this trim because it's it's important. I think I'll half the amount of trim though. I'll see what how I'll see how it looks if I just do a half design, just like this. Ah, this bastard. I gotta lure him away. He's gonna accidentally give me wood that I can't use. Come on, buddy. Kick you. Alright, it's coming together. Now let's try and get this crafting station to actually work. Let's turn it a little bit. I think this looks more sort of natural. It probably will help with the usability. We can still use it. Alright, and what are we working with? We have 10 wood. Well, here. I can definitely trim this up a bit. There we go. I like that. Makes it look more solid. Oh, <laughs> I never actually added some some design roof. So <laughs> now I have seven wood. All right, I'm gonna try. I'll put one here, one at this halfway point, and then I'll sort of connect these two pieces. And I just have one more wood. That doesn't even look like a roof. I don't 
get a rested bonus in this corner over here or over here. So first I'll steal some wood from over here because this will probably work if I just take a little bit of the trim away. There we go, I got two wood. That might be enough to fix this issue. I think all I have to do is block my character from being able to go into that corner. See how much I have to finagle here. There we go. And now I'm just gonna move this piece down here because it was just being aesthetic, but it looks like it needs to actually block my character from getting too far out of the rested zone. And then I'll just do the same thing over here. Boom, all right, running in the corners, still rested, running in the corners, still rested, still rested. Nice, it looks like this whole thing is rested and the fire works. But let's see if everything works while it's raining. And the gods have summoned a thunderstorm to prove our worth. All right, full on rain. Well, it's raining, the fire hasn't gone out, so that's working. Let's see if the bed works. I'm wet. All right, well, okay, I could sleep in the bed. And now can I use the workbench? Oh. Yeah, it looks like the workbench is easier to sort of cheese because, I mean, it doesn't look like I should be able to use that, but it, it definitely works. Oh, that's right. I forgot the chest. It's still chilling out here. It's a good habit. It placed chests up off the ground. So, oh, I only have 10 wood though. So what I want to do is sort of place my chest like sort of right there, basically. I'll steal this wood here and put it back. I just need to be able to place the chest, but then theoretically I should be able to move the wood fine. Put it right here. Now, if I clip this chest in, it should just stay in place, even if I move that bottom piece. Hey, yeah, there we go. Now we can put this back. Oh, nope, aha, there we go, that's good. Our chest is here, we can sleep in our bed. And there we have it, everybody. This is my entrance to Splash of Pain's 100 wood, five stone building competition. If you wanna join the challenge, just go check the video out on her channel. You can get the link in the description below. And then all you have to do is take a photo or take a video clip and post it in the challenges channel on her and Captain Crumbs' Discord server. They have a Discord server called The Poolside, where they host this competition. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like this video or any other video about Valheim if you want YouTube to show you more Valheim content. Final touch, I'll add just a little bit of dirt. And uh, I'll get rid of these skeletal remains. They're kind of foreboding. And here it is. This is my entrance to Splash's 100 wood, five stone building challenge. Obviously could use some more touching up, but I did manage to do it without using any roof tiles. And that was my own personal goal.